Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this month's theme is about counting blessings. 2020 has been such another year with COVID-19 happening and pushing us into a new way of living that we have to get used to. Mass, safe entry, social distancing. However, while we can always hope that things would turn better within the near future, it's good old fashioned advice that it will be good to stop for a while and look at things that we're so blessed with and be a little more appreciative in our lives despite all bad things happening, isn't it? So, are you ready for this month's vlog? Let's go! Blessing number one, my family. With all the transitions and the pandemic happening, I don't know where I would actually be if I didn't have my parents' support. My dad sends me to work in the morning and checks in on me if I didn't reach home by it. My mom would prepare my dinner every day and would also buy if she's not free to cook just so I can pop meals. Although this sounds very mundane daily living routines, but I think trying to adult would have been a lot more difficult because my parents take care of me in ways that I have totally neglected myself for. They keep me healthy, safe, and sane to push up daily. This one had a mini achievement which was to buy them dinner and seeing them being so satisfied with it makes me so happy. I know it's nothing, but the pandemic do make me appreciate family time more, especially when social distancing limits our freedom to me as and when. Blessing number 2, Mr. Poor I used to think that I would be single my whole life because it was hard to imagine that someone would be willing to take responsibility in taking care of me besides my own parents. It takes care of me in very practical ways such as bringing me on hikes everywhere because it helps me recharge, bringing me to various food places because it makes me happy even though he will be easily satisfied with type all day. He also eats my food so that I don't overeat and gain weight. Mr. Paul also drives me around almost everywhere and he often does so without complaints. He even woke up at 5am once this month just so he could drive me around while I was helping out at my friend's wedding. He may not be the most romantic boyfriend on earth, but he is carrying his own ways. My own Lesson number 3, Friends I will consider myself as an introvert and I keep few close friends although I do recognize the importance of socializing and maintaining social bonds. But does anyone feel the same that they find it increasingly difficult to forge new friendships as one gets older? I'm not too sure if it's because I'm too absorbed by work and I'm just too tired to socialize or it's something else. But regardless, I'm really grateful that I have the few who I can count on for a good time and also for support during the bad. I'm guilty of being absent in a lot of my friendships, like I had to cancel a dinner date with my secondary school friends because I wasn't feeling too well. So really shout out to all you low maintenance friends for still remembering that I exist and involving me whenever possible. I'm also really appreciative of each and every one of you because you guys make me a better person by teaching me things that I can never find in my textbooks or my lecture notes. <laughs> Besides providing me with a paycheck, which I am very, very appreciative of during this challenging time, I'm also really blessed to be in a working environment where people actually do care about your well-being. I've heard stories about office politics and toxic cultures elsewhere, but I'm really glad that my first job led me to people who were willing to spare some thoughts and genuinely care and support me whenever I need it. December is Christmas and we have Secret Santa going on in our office, and it was really fun trying to participate in the activities. I also receive way more gifts than just from my center because my colleagues are really generous and nice. Blessing number five, being given the privilege of self-care. With the accumulation of all four of my previous blessings, I think the biggest blessings I had in December is to be granted the luxury privilege of self-care and me-time. In my line of work, things go really fast and so I find it very hard to get away from work because it's like I need to attend to my responsibilities promptly. But I have really kind colleagues who help cover for me when I'm not around so that my cases don't go unattended to. Additionally, having my family and friends affirm my rights to self-care reduces some of the guilt that I have towards just wanting to disconnect and do things for myself, such as doing my nails or going for an open dance class. 
Also, I said previously, the paycheck is something I'm really grateful for because it gives me the privilege to go and spend on my wants and on people that I love. Although it may be very hard to imagine, but there are people losing jobs and worrying about their meals even in Singapore, and especially so with an ongoing pandemic. So, I'm really, really very blessed. Although I'm able to articulate all these kind of things that I see as blessings, I got to admit that I do get caught up in thoughts about what I don't have. This is especially so when things get hard and I wonder whether I do wrong to be in a certain situation and I blame life too. I can't really say that things will automatically look better if you think on the bright side because there are really some dark times where there just simply isn't any good side. But I hope that things will pass and things will get better. But till then, let's continue counting the blessings. Hey, one, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs>